Alright guys, and welcome back to more Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth. We made even more progress up the clock tower only to find another floor that's just as big as the 8th floor. And we have even yet to complete the the 8th the floor because it's, it's only 50% done because we need to go to the ninth floor to do some stuff, to do some stuff on the 8th floor, to go right back up to finish up the ninth floor. And hopefully the 10th floor is just the last floor. <laughs> I am ready. You don't seem to understand that I am ready to beat this game. <laughs> but right now, I'm not gonna let that, like, you know, get to me. But we wanna just go ahead and report this request. Cause I was uh, just about to sell a whole bunch of stuff and Theo reminded me, hey, you know, you got some request materials in here you need to turn in to complete a request. And I was like, oh shit, man, thanks for telling me. I'm about to go run over to the nurse's office and give this to Elizabeth. So here we go. About to give a prosperity shard to. A uh, prosperity shard. It was actually called a luxury shard, but never mind. A luxury piece. Hmm. I expect you to. I expected you to have a hard time with this one. Well done. But I suppose I should expect nothing less from you. You have successfully completed a request. An unwavering, hard, powerful moves that can end a fight in a single blow, and the body to deliver such a strike. I would say all of that is about 10% of what happened here. The rest being luck. That is how you obtain this. Um. I guess we can this go with that. <laughs> RNG. Elizabeth said, blame it on the RNG for getting that. She told me to praise the RNG gods. Alright, so we got the chakra recovery ring. Chakra recovery. Chakra recovery. Chakra recovery. Chakra recovery. Chakra recovery. <laughs> I'm not going to get off of that. Like, ever since I played the Ultimate Ninja series, dude, that, that was my game, dude. Me and my sister used to play that all the time. Ooh, SP cost are half. But that's really only good for, like, magic users, and magic users are completely, almost obsolete in this game. So, what we're gonna do is probably just keep it on us, just in case we need to have it later. We're actually going to go to the... I almost said the gym. We're gonna go to the workshop. We're gonna sell some stuff. And then we're gonna buy some stuff. Please. So, Atame and Double Ziggurat. Wow. But I'm not here to just buy that. I'm, I'm probably just gonna buy Repulse Bells. That's the only items I'm really gonna buy from the, for the rest of the game is just Repulse Bells. Because this last labyrinth would be taking a hell of a lot longer if I didn't have these repose bells. Trust me. I'd probably still be on singly. I'd probably still be on floor eight, dude, if I didn't have these damn repose bells. So without further ado, let's watch some of these strolls before we head into the labyrinth, and then after we watch these strolls, we'll head into the labyrinths. So without further ado, let's do this. Haha, <laughs> giggle. The food court. It seems your companions are taking a break. <sighs> I'm tired. Isn't this clock tower taking forever? Am I the only one who's exhausted? I know how you feel, bruh. Okay. Oh yeah, his fur is starting to get frizzled. Frizzle my nizzle. If it's this tough. Or excuse me. If it's this tough though, we must be getting closer to Ray. I feel like it's not much further, but the truth is we still got a ways left. You know what's the toughest thing about the clock tower is? Don't say the gondola puzzle. Trying to map it, all the obstacles, the strong shadows. <laughs> let's say all the obstacles. Hmm, let's say, I ain't gonna say the strong shadows, as we, we body the shadows. I would say trying to map it. That's the probably the most exhausting thing of it. Ooh. Exactly, I'm walking around the best I can, but it's just so huge. I'm sorry that we can't be more help with that. A sigh falls from everyone's mouth. It's only a little longer. Does it? Doesn't it seem kind of fun now that that ends in sight? <sighs> no way, bruh. But you got a point. We can't give up now, so we might as well try and enjoy ourselves. <laughs> Let's get ourselves fired up again to keep climbing. Okay, broske. Let's try our best. I'm gonna do my best too. Alrighty then, leave it to me. We, we ain't afraid of no labyrinth. Bring it on. Uh, um. Bring it on. Everyone's enthusiasm is infectious. You should brush yourself and head to the clock tower with Ray awaits. I'm the leader. I, I guess I should have said, no, nothing's too tough. See, but that would have been me being hella cocky 
And Yukari probably would have just punched him in my stomach for no reason. Naoto is gazing around idly at what's inside the school. Hello. Oh, Naru. Once we save Rei, no matter what happens, or no matter, no matter how matters end. Oh, I see what she's trying to say. No matter how it ends, this culture festival will be over. Seen in that light, isn't there something melancholy about this artificial li liveliness? Kind of, yeah. I agree. Is something the matter? What are you doing? Not quite. Just having a chat about how this fe uh, culture festival will end soon. <sighs> the end, huh? You're right. In that case, there's something I wanted to ask you. Me? You're good at tinkering with machines, right? Well, mm. to a certain extent, I made things when I was young and called them my detective's tools. Yep, that's right. The tools weren't so useful, but I had fun taking things apart and learning how they function. Yep, same here. Wow. I know just what you mean. I'm really interested in working with clocks and stuff too. Oh shit, Siler. Do you think I can make something too? <laughs> Why not? Let's see. The components for a small transmitter are sold at electronic stores. The crystal radio may be a good place for you to start. I agree. I think I'll give that a try sometime. If you run into a wall, you might try asking Fuka. She seems very knowledgeable about things too, though her focus seemed a bit different than mine. Okay. I remember that. What's wrong? I was uh, thinking you seem like uh, an older sister. An older sister, huh? I'm sorry if that came off as strange. Not quite. I was an only child and well, you see how present or right, see how I present myself. So I didn't think I was well suited to the role of older sister. Really? I always thought you were pretty cool, and then when I found out that you were a girl too, <laughs> and now you seem so kind and mature on top of that. What? <laughs> I wish I had a younger brother like you too, Ken. Thank you. Hmm. But I'd still be a younger brother. I wonder how long people will feel like they have to protect me. I want to treat me like an older. I want them to treat me like an older brother or someone else you can look up to. What is it I'm missing? Thick sole shoes, age, a uh, height. Thick sole shoes, age. Let's not make fun of his height. Let's say thick soled shoes. I see. Here's an idea. <sighs> Please stop bringing that up. <laughs> I'm certain you'll be a reliable young man in time, Ken. From my perspective, you seem to have grown a lot within our short time here. Huh? Maybe I should check my height in the nurse's office when we get back. I don't think she meant it like that, bruh. <laughs> it reminds me, you're from two years later than my time, right? <laughs> I'll be in middle school by then. I bet I'll be taller than you, Nalto. Maybe so. I envy you, I envy you somewhat. If only I could still grow taller. You passed some time with your companions, and you ribbed Ken. Eh. <laughs> it was started ribbing Ken after that. Alright, so we're gonna save the game, and we're gonna head back into the clock tower in 5, in 4, in 3, in 2, in 1, 1 and a half. Let's go. Get ready for the epic music. In the clock tower again. Oh no, they put me on the top floor, so I gotta do a lot more freaking walking. I did not want that to happen. Oh man. Is there a shortcut to get? Yeah, there is a shortcut right there, and I just take the. Wow. They really did that. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Wow. Those douchebags! I have to do that entire gondola ride again. No, I, I created the shortcut. Wow, what a bunch of dicks. You know what? I don't feel like, like, you know what? It shouldn't even take that long to walk through this uh, floor. So what I'm going to do is actually speed this up for you folks on YouTube. And I'm going to pretty much use a repose bell so I can just jet through this entire dungeon and map it out. And I'll come back when when there's a vent or something new and intriguing going on. Alright guys, so we are back where we were before previously. After having to re-raise and lower all the freaking... All the pillars and whatnot. 
We are back to where we left off, and I have to... I have to go back upstairs again. I have to literally go back upstairs again, I see. Because they want me to move one of the gears up. This game has been trolling me. I had to redo 10 minutes of puzzles again. So what we need to do is actually go right back up here anyway. Shouldn't even take too long. Should take about... I don't know. Two minutes. Which is still a fucking pretty long time to me. So there's got to be a switch on the wall for this gear, because i got to somehow move it. i got to move this gear right here. Or is this the next one right here? That looks like a switch up ahead. Alright, so what I need to do now... Uh, use a go... No, 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 no! That'll just fuck up the entire puzzle, and I would have to redo everything again. Repulse bell. Alright, go through here. I can't go downstairs that way, because if I go downstairs the other way, it'll fuck me over really bad. So I brought that up, which we needed to do. So now I need to actually just go back the other way. Oh shit. Hopefully I hit the right switch I needed to, because I needed to head back and pretty much uh, close that freaking one out. I needed to uh, lift that one up so we can have, so we can go to a further route on the, the floor below. There are two enemies. I don't recognize both of them. Those squares. That's a sigil. Still looks like he's weak against fire, to be honest. But anyway, we're just gonna go for the kill. Fuck this nonsense. Thank you. Just think if I didn't have repulse bells, dude. I'd be here. I would have been recording for over two hours right now. I'm not even kidding you. Alright, so now we gotta go back downstairs. I don't know why they made me redo that just because I left and went to go save and had to redo 10 minutes worth of puzzle because I thought I was it was okay to go save it because I created several shortcuts that should have stayed, but they didn't. Alright, so I need to go up. Hopefully I don't need to throw on the repulse bell just yet. I'm trying to optimize my uh, movement. There we go. So I should be able to go down here and move up there now. Yep, I sure can. And immediately, as soon as I fucking make this shortcut, I'm done. I am done. So I need to immediately throw on a repulse bell. I got a lot of stuff from Power Spot, so I can go ahead and sell a lot of the materials I got to pretty much restock up on repulse bells. Pretty sure I got that Power Spot in here. I should have. If I didn't, I can just get it right now. And, yep, I already got it. Right, I should be able to make a shortcut soon. How to do all that. All that bullshit. That is no ordinary wall. I suggest we investigate. Finally! A stone amulet. That was some garbage. There's a shortcut right here. So now we ain't gotta do all that bullshit no more. Come over here, map that in a little bit. Mapping this door. Holy shit! That was annoying as fuck. I shouldn't have had to do all that nonsense. There's something strange about that wall over there. And I would have to fight, right? Three enemies! Be careful! Let's do this! Alright, so we're gonna fight this last fight here. Lethargy Circle. Muhammad, please. I don't wanna have to deal with this again. You know, that's fine. As long as they get Lethargy or Panic to land, that'll be great. Yep, you're done. 
What the? Alright, so we might as well just try to make even, even more further progress. You still hold all your items? You should probably organize them. We want to try to make more progress here by using the repose bell. And what we're going to do... That looks like an area where I have to fight Elizabeth or Margaret again. Look at that. That area had nothing in it. There was nothing in it. No chest. No reason to go there. I bet you any money that's where I'm gonna have to fight Elizabeth. So I'm just gonna place a diamond right there. Elizabeth for the last time. So we created all these shortcuts. It's time to finally move on. I'm getting a bad feeling about something. Is the Reaper close? I will fucking bop the fuck out of that Reaper. I am not playing games. Seems I can't pass through here. I may have trapped my fucking self in beside the Reaper, but. If I have to fight the Reaper, fucking bullshit. I can just strafe side from side. If I back down, he's gonna move up and he'll stay still. I think I can get past him. I go back down. Yeah, I gotta freaking move all these stupid pillars out the way again. But you know what? It's fine. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just use a go home. All I was trying to do was map out the area. And since we just created a shortcut, it's not even gonna be too hard right there. And if he gets in my way, I'm just gonna probably beat the fuck out of him. Fuck a Reaper, dude. Like, real talk. I will literally fight a Reaper. So now what I'm gonna do... Go to the workshop. Sell a whole bunch of stuff. Oh yeah. Or pick overflow badge. That's what I got from a chest and it gives us 100 HP and 50 SP, which is really good. So what I want to do is not even buy anything, but the only thing I want to buy is a repulse bell. It's the only items I'm buying from here on out, like real talk. <laughs> There's nothing else I need to buy. My strategy is too clean. This is knocking blocks off. So what we want to do here is take a short break. You know what? I don't even know how long I've been recording. So you know what? I'll go right back into the labyrinth. Go into the clock tower because there was a lot of idle time I had to edit out most likely. So we're going to go back into the entrance. We're going to start at the entrance and then we're going to climb our way up because it's a lot easier to just start from the entrance. And then take those shortcuts we just opened up. So yeah. So check this out. Go to the elevator. Go to the 8th floor. And we start off right next to it. Yeah, we sure do start off right next to a freaking uh, shortcut we just made. And we might as well just start off by getting these power spots. So we can start buying those things again. Start buying more uh, repulse bells. The Reaper's getting closer. Fuck the Reaper. I don't give a fuck about the Reaper. Fuck a Keeper. The Grim Reaper. He's a fucking creeper. That's all he is. I go closer to him. Go this way. It's gonna move my way. I have to trap him. That's what it looks like I have to do. It looks like I have to trap him before I even do anything. All 
All right, that Reaper can come straight towards us too if we don't finish this fight off quick. Ready for orders. Uh, tend to the foo, lethargy circle. Whatever, get both of those dudes in the back out of here. As long as we can land these mirrored arrows on these guys, we'll be good. You know what, and if he gets in my way, I'll just fucking fight him. I will just fight this guy, straight up. I'm not even playing, dude. <laughs> I will knock this guy out. I'm not playing games. Alright, we're good, we're good. Alright, we made it. So we made it past that guy. We need to create a shortcut. Before I do anything, I'm making a shortcut. Oh, you don't say, kid. Alright, let's try to map out this place a little bit more. Let's leave this shortcut here. Let's leave that shortcut over there. Let's put this door right here. Eh. What I'm gonna do here, guys, is pretty much just take a short break, and once we come back, I'll leave off straight from this spot right here. I normally don't do this. I'm gonna pretty much just do a, a quick split and then the next video will resume where we left off so I'll see you guys very soon <laughs> 